I just need her home. I can't lie to this little boy anymore. A young mother pregnant with another little boy is missing and has been for almost a week now. Her boyfriend also disappeared without a trace. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Jess is off today. And that young woman is in need of medication. Her mother says it's a life-threatening situation. Let's get the latest update on all of it. Natasha Brown is in Upper Darby. Natasha? Well, good evening to you, Yuki. Still a lot of unanswered questions with this missing persons case at this point. 21-year-old Deanna Bryce and her 23-year-old boyfriend, Justin Smith, have been missing now since March 30. And police say they are baffled by this case at this point since there has been no trace of either of them since that day. I'm numb. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Betty Cellini is wrecked with worry over her missing daughter. Deanna Bryce was last seen seven days ago with her boyfriend, Justin Smith. Both have disappeared. Both Deanna Bryce and Justin Smith were seen leaving in Justin Smith's 2018 black Ford Fusion. The Ford Fusion was found in the 1500 block of Florence Street in Cobbs Creek, but no sighting of either of them near the burned out vehicle. Investigators have looked through hours worth of video and we don't see anyone getting out of that car before, after, or during the time of the fire. Deanna is four and a half months pregnant and has a life-threatening medical condition requiring medication. Both Deanna and Justin are considered missing persons at this point. Police say they have had no known sightings of the two since their disappearance. Yes, this one is has everyone perplexed. It's, it, nothing really makes sense here. The two of them just completely, since, like I said, Tuesday, March 30th, have gone off the radar. She has a four-year-old at home. She's four and a half months pregnant. I just need her home. Well, a very emotional mother, as you can imagine. She says that her entire family is pretty much out here trying to help the police by looking for her daughter by car, by foot. They're just from Upper Darby to Philadelphia trying to figure out where she could possibly be at this point. Meantime, Upper Darby police say they have found no evidence of credit card use, no cell phone use since March 30th of the two. So they're baffled by that as well, since it appears they've just vanished without a trace. So far, though, this is still considered a missing person's case, police stopping short of saying there is any foul play suspected at this point. That's the very latest here at the Upper Darby Police Department. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Natasha, thank you.